Just days after their horrific and dangerous attack on Stonehenge, one of the country's greatest and most precious historic treasures, right on actress Dame Emma Thompson has given her backing to Just Stop Oil. Today, the Oscar-winning actress led thousands of people on a march in London aimed at persuading politicians to prioritise nature and climate. Asked whether she supports Just Stop Oil, she said, I think I support anyone who fights this extraordinary battle. We cannot take any more oil out of the ground. But in the past, eco-activist Thompson, famous for playing the ugly nanny Nanny McPhee on the big screen, showed her ugly hypocrisy cavorting on a vast, gas-guzzling 350-foot mega-yacht owned by billionaire media tycoon Barry Diller, co-founder of Fox News, whose right-wing output I've got no doubt she despises. What she didn't despise was the chilled champagne and caviar served up on this opulent vessel, one which carries two enormous diesel engines plus fossil fuel-powered generators, presumably to put bubbles in the jacuzzi. Of course, none of this would matter if it wasn't for Thompson's previous finger-wagging pronouncements about the state of the environment. For example, she was spotted jetting to New York in 2019, just days after backing Extinction Rebellion climate protests that brought chaos to London. The Mail newspaper report that she took a personal booth in the luxury cabin of a BA flight from Heathrow to JFK, despite previously demanding we should all fly less. Now, first-class BA flights to New York cost around £18,000 and generate nearly two tonnes of carbon dioxide for each passenger in the elite cabin. Onlookers claim the multi-millionaire activist also drank Laurent Perrier champagne and dined on beef carpaccio, even though she has previously called on all of us to eat less meat, all in the name of saving the planet. Sorry, but you can't have it both ways. You can't sit on board a 200 million quid super yacht whilst telling the great unwashed that we've got to take fewer flights, eat less meat and spend 20 grand on a new boiler. Now, I'm a huge fan of Emma Thompson, a brilliant writer and a gifted actress. She is a true British national treasure and I suspect a very nice lady as well. But I'm afraid that if you enter the political arena, you will be called out for any double standards or hypocrisy on display. And I'm afraid to say that she's got that in spades with a jet-set lifestyle, more air miles than Richard Branson, and she's someone who has owned homes all over the world. And despite owning a reportedly three million pound house in Hampstead, North London, she famously called England a rainy corner of sort of Europe, a cake-filled, misery-laden, grey old Ireland. Charming. Let me tell you, there isn't much grey misery to be found in the bustling boutiques of Hampstead Village. If her insane demand to stop drilling for oil was ever granted, it would destroy the country and wreck ordinary people's lives. But it wouldn't affect Dame Emma in her North London ivory tower. By all means, protest, and yes, the environment, is a worthy cause. I don't doubt that Dame Emma is very sincere in her concerns and has been consistent on this over many years. I too believe that we must save the planet, but not, but not by ending the use of fossil fuels next Tuesday. And I'll take no lectures from multi-millionaire superstars who say one thing and do quite the opposite. Emma Thompson is a successful and highly decorated actress with an Oscar to her name. But the only award she merits these days is world's biggest eco-hypocrite. Sorry, folks, but her latest performance as the Queen of Double Standards gets one star from me. But what's your view? GBnews.com forward slash your say. 